hello guys welcome back this is me Hasan Salim so today we're gonna talking about a very important topic there is list in the list you can store the same category elements so you can operate the different functions on it very easily for example you can you want to save the name of the students of one class you can create a list for example here's the demo and I'll show you how you can use lists and how to you how to add an element or so items in that particular list I just create a Windows form application here I just draw a text box to store the name of the students here I just draw the text box I just create some of the buttons to perform some applications so you may be able to understand better I just copy that so here you see I just changed the name of the buttons I write add student I write remove here I write display all students here I write contain or exist all right now what I need to do let's go to the coding section here I just create a list publicly lists of string type of course string type name of the list is students is equal to new lists so basically that is the format or the that is the format to create a definition of list so without many wasting time I just go to add student button here I write students dot add into text box one dot text simple all simple is that now when I start the program I write the name and, step and click add student button the name of the student will be added to the students list now I just go to remove button here I write students dot remove is equal to text box one dot text all right now what I need to do is to display all the name of the students it's very simple in this you need to create a uh, an array variable array type variable I just type array AR is equal to what I need to do is to convert the student list into array now I use for for each loop first I create the string type display variable which show the name of the students existed in the class or enrolled in the list all right now I use for each loop for their particular purpose to show the all of the students in one message box here I write for each string x in AR all right here I write this plate is e plus is equal to x dot x plus environment dot new line all simple now I just write message box that show display simple now let's see what's happening here I write the name of the first student is Hassan at student 
I say display all the names. Here is the Hassan. Here I write Fahan. At student with Hassan and Fahan. Here I write Junaid. At student display a student. There are the three name of the students. Now, if I want to remove any of the names, suppose I want to remove the name of Farhan from that list, I type Farhan and said remove. Now here is Hassan and Junaid left. Now what I need to do, I just want to check whether the, that particular name of the student existed in that particular list. For that, very easy, I just go to the exist button. Here I write. I use boolean variable to store the result of here I write boolean x is equal to student dot contains textbox one dot text all right and message box dot show x dot to string simple now there are no student in the list I type Fahan at student I type awesome as soon I said display I now suppose there is a hundred of students in the list and I just want to check the specific name whether it exists in the list or not I write Farhan this and exist it's a true true means it exists and you can do one more thing is if x is equal to true then message box dot show student exists else message box dot show not exists now let's check I add Farhan as soon now I want to check whether that Farhan exists or not student existed if I write Hassan and check exist not exist so here you see it's the simple demo of the list which would be might be helpful for you in the year program so don't forget to subscribe guys and if you want to help in c -sharp, you can comment below on which i can make the tutorials for you thank you don't forget to subscribe